Today, Timothy Small takes us into the artistic world of Mr. Turner. Did you know about him before you came to the project? Obviously, it was a, a long gestating, mightly idea. Mm. Did you know how you were going to play Turner? Did you have an idea of Turner in your mind before you started working on him? I knew way, way back, little bits. I knew that he was a, a Londoner, a born Londoner. I knew that he was a of a particular type. I knew that he was... Uh, ostensibly a working class guy that was also one of the great, you know, visual geniuses of the time. I didn't know as much as I do now, but uh, two years before we started to actually rehearse and might ask me if I would do him the service of learning how to paint. So I was slowly but surely percolating and assimilating a lot of the stuff as we, as I actually got down to apl applying this as to try and and it wasn't to become a painter it's like giving somebody advance a dooku and saying come back two years later and be einstein you know i mean this was about how to look like you could hold a brush and i had a brilliant teacher tim wright who took me through the entire um he gave me a sort of found art foundation course in fine art what he did is he gave me this grounding in all the different uh, mediums and then we the last painting i did was a full-scale copy of steamboat off a of harbour's mouth in oil on canvas and i can't say whether it's any good or not but maybe the fact that it's sitting in petworth house in the room where turner painted a lot of his uh, paintings in Petworth with a load of other turners might mean it might not be too shabby but um, I look at it and I think how the hell I do that because I certainly couldn't do it again Mr Turner is out on DVD and Blu-ray now <laughs>